What is up guys, it is Zexrays and welcome back to another video of, not mine, but a collaboration between me and Notes. As you see in the background, it is some specialist gameplay by Notes. He is playing with the ACR and the Silencer Extended Mags, which is quite possibly the best attachments to use on the on the ACR since it has a pretty decent iron sight as you can see nice and clear nice and crisp and of course the silencers stay off the map get them mobs and of course uh, the extended mags you never want to run out especially when you're running into like a group of three or four people but anyways guys so uh, apart from that this is a Moab gameplay of course uh, it probably could have been a double Moab but uh, there was a lot of BS in in this uh, lobby a lot of people getting killed and just acting stupid uh, not notes, by the way. It was just like other, um, you know, Modern Warfare 3 being Modern Warfare 3 was a, was a thing. And uh, notes went on a couple of different, a couple, and then maybe a third different streak. And then he didn't get the mob to like the last. Uh, he got like a streak at the last, I'd say, minute or so, last minute or two of the of the game. And that's when he got the Moab, and he ended it pretty classy with the Moab. So um, it's too bad about uh, too bad about that. He probably could have gotten a lot more, a lot more Moabs if it wasn't for. You know, Infinity Ward, making Modern Warfare 3 the game that it is. Uh, but anyways, guys, so, apart from the gameplay, and apart from mentioning that, I'm going to be talking a little bit about high school, seeing as how I already mentioned how summer's over for some of you guys. Some of you guys are still waiting. Um, you guys are on the luckier end of the of the schedule and won't, be, won't have to go back till September 5th, like the normal schedule that we have here in Chicago. Um, and maybe you guys have it a little bit different where you're at, but some of you guys might be going to high school. Some of you guys are maybe looking at high school, maybe not this year, but the year after that. And uh, seeing as how I have uh, I have gone through high school and I've gone through that whole phase and that whole thing, I uh, I thought I'd give a little bit of insight to some of the stories that I've had, you know, through my illustrious career in in high school. And uh, I'll start off by saying that. Uh, the high school that I went to, and some of you guys might be from Chicago, I might know it. I went to Lane Tech High School. Um, it's a college prep high school, and uh, basically it's one of the top three high schools in the city. Um, the first one being, I think it's Northside, and then Whitney Young, and then followed by Lane Tech. Uh, so I got into Lane Tech. I was a freshman there, and uh, I'm not going to talk about my freshman year, because freshman year, we all know it's that one creepy, weird year where you're not, you're not really sure what's going on. And uh, you don't know what you're doing, or and you don't know what's your left from your right, because it's high school, it's your first year, you don't know what to expect, and it kind of blows by before you even know it, and you're a sophomore. And I'm going to focus on sophomore year in this video today. I'm going to be talking about driver's ed. Now, I don't know if there's still driver's ed now going around in high school, because um, when I was in high school and when I had driver's ed, they told us that it was going to be like the last batch of kids that were going to do it, because something about the state that didn't want kids um, driving early and they were trying to raise the age of having a driver's license so we were like one of the if not the last uh, group of kids who were gonna have driver's ed and get their driver's license permits all that good stuff and eventually lead them to a uh, to his driver's license when they took their test now uh, my driver's ed course and my history with driving uh, at that time was uh, not so great and uh, that's why today I'm going to be talking about uh, when I took my actual driver's ed. Uh, I'm not going to say test, the official one, but it was like a driver's ed uh, pre-test or, yeah, I guess I could call it a pre-test or practice test that they have where they make you drive and they make you, you know, just to, you know, tell you how you're doing and how you, and if you're going to do good in your test and all that stuff. Anyway, so I took my driver's ed test and before that, before I took the whole test, I was in my driver's ed class and... The teacher that I had, um, we were going to take ours during the summer because uh, that's the way that it was. Like during, uh, at the time that I took it was around December, so you can imagine there was a bunch of snow everywhere, not the best conditions for trying to take a test. And I, at the time, I wasn't supposed to take it during winter. I was supposed to take it um, a little more closer towards the summer, you know, um, what, what am I going to say, like May, maybe? Uh, February, March, and uh, not not really summer, but you know what I'm talking about, where there's not snow, because usually that's the plan that they have. And anyway, so, um, so uh, the teacher told me that they had an extra opening, and uh, 
He said that if I wanted to take it, he said that I had the most improvement in the class. And that didn't really mean a lot because, I mean, um, the driver's thing that we did in our driver's course was basically don't touch uh, the accelerator, don't touch the brake, and uh, the car is moving basically on its own. And so it wasn't exactly that hard. So I could make turns and everything. I could parallel park everything. Uh, so he told me they had an extra opening. I could get my driver's license earlier than I, than I would have than anybody else. So I took it and I did it and when I went to go take my test, <laughs> I'm not going to lie to you, that was the very first time that I actually pressed the accelerator pedal, like actually pushing it. And <laughs> So um, you guys are probably thinking, what the hell were you thinking? That's stupid. Why are you getting in a car with somebody putting people's lives at, at, at risk, you know, by <laughs> driving a car that was the first time actually touching an accelerator pedal? And I, and I did. I did it anyways, and uh, thinking back, that was probably stupid. I should have said no, but, you know, I did it because I wanted my driver's license early. And I took the test, and when I was driving, the teacher that, that was, uh, you know, reviewing me told me to make a right turn at the, at the red light. So that's what she told me, right turn, red light. And um, I misheard what she said, and I thought she said make a left turn at the stop sign. So I don't know... How the hell um, I could have mixed the two? It didn't even sound anything similar. Um, but I was so nervous when I was doing it again. It was like my first time touching the accelerator, per pressing it down and accelerating the car. And so, um, if you can imagine, I'm on a street, and uh, so up ahead at the in in at the um, what's it called at the cross, where there's uh, the four streets, and she told me to make a right. Before we get there, there's this other one-way street that's basically like to the left. And it's a one-way street, so you can't go into it. But anyway, so I, I thought I heard her say that. I stopped. I made my left turn signal, and she told me, what are you doing? And I'm like, I'm making a left turn at the stop sign. And she was like, okay, uh, first of all, that's a one-way street, so I can't make a left turn. And second of all, there was no stop sign <laughs> anywhere around. And I, I stopped, and I was making my left turn signal, so I looked like an idiot. And needless to say, I did not pass that <laughs> driver's ed test. I uh, totally bombed that pretest. Uh, luckily, I did end up getting my license. I, I'm not a failure. I'm, I'm actually a pretty good driver. I don't um, <laughs> crash or anything, and I don't. Uh, I haven't gotten any. I haven't gotten stopped by the cops even once. Well, I got stopped once, but that's because my my headlight was out, and I was driving the expressway, and I couldn't, you know, change it since I was going from Chicago to Vegas at the time. So that's the only time they gave me an, uh, a warning, basically. And anyways, guys, if you guys enjoyed this commentary, remember to leave a like. 200 likes will get us the next insane 100-plus gameplay by notes. And, of course, remember to always leave a like, a favorite. And if you enjoyed this commentary, stop by my channel, youtube.com slash OGXrays, for more commentaries. I'm X-Rays. I'm out. Peace.